In this video I will show you how to get the workshop code from CMF uh, Garrett. We will use uh, dedicated workshop components instead of real RDK code because of the uh, RDK uh, code size and amount of uh, time it takes to uh, clone them. Okay, let's get started. I have a here I have a fresh installation of Ubuntu 14.04 uh, only thing I've added is uh, git since we're gonna use it throughout the workshop however before we pull the workshop code uh, we need to s uh, set up the environment and get the and get a repo script for this workshop I will use ASP user uh, 42 it's a dedicated uh, workshop account that has access to all the workshop repositories before we start using it, we need to configure a uh, basic environment. So uh, we need to tell git the username that we want to use. It's our full name, not the login that will be used for uh, accessing Garrett. So it's a basically display, display name. Second, we need to configure our email. Uh, ASP workshop user accounts have email access disabled however we still need to provide it and this is the user, this is the email that uh, has to be used for with all the ASP workshop users and uh, last we need to configure the username that should be used uh, to log into Garrett uh, however, since we're gonna pull uh, and push uh, code to Garrett each time, before uh, each time repo will need to uh, log in into Garrett and authenticate. Since we don't have a, uh, we didn't save password anywhere, we will need to provide that manually each time. The simplest way to avoid that uh, would be to use the .NET RC file. So. We need to specify the machine, so this will be the code rdkcentral.com in the dot .NET RC file. We need to specify the login that we uh, want to use, so it's ASP user 42 and its password. Dot .NET RC file is not encrypted, so you're gonna store your password in an unencrypted form. I uh, I'm using dot .NET RC file for this workshop since it's the simplest uh, way to do it. However, there are uh, other ways and other user agents that uh, can be used that and grant you more security. Now we need to get the initial uh, repo script. Since repo uh, is a tool that uh, can update itself, we just need to get the initial version of it. Each time we're gonna uh, do repo init, repo will uh, fetch uh, its git repository and use the latest uh, version. So first, let's create a directory where we're gonna s where we're gonna keep this binary, and let's add it to path. Okay, and uh, now uh, we can use curl or any other um, any other tool like wget or even web browser to fetch the uh, repo script. I will use curl and save it as uh, in my home directory bin uh, slash repo. It's fetched. Now uh, all we need to do is make it executable, and we're set. This is uh, the initial configuration that needs to be done uh, for each user. And since uh, since uh, we're gonna pull some uh, repository, some code, let's create a directory for the workshop code and uh, go to this uh, directory. Now, this is this concludes the initial setup that uh, needs to be done. To get the uh, uh, workshop code or RDK code, we need to know the URL of the manifest file that uh, 
provides links f uh, to other uh, repositories and the complete layout and the structure of uh, other uh, components. So to do that, uh, we need to log in to Garrett. And the simplest way to get to Garrett is to go to code.rdkcentral.com and click the first uh, link. That's Garrett. Next, we need to sign in. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm using uh, ASP user 42 and uh, its password. By default, we land in the My Changes screen. So to get the project screen, just click Project, List, and you will see a list of four projects, three components and manifest file. Uh, we need to uh, copy this URL. This HTTPS ASP user at code RDK central workshop uh, manifest. Just copy this file. Now we need to do repo init minus u and paste this what we got. This option ASP user at code RDK central is optional. Garrett provides it uh, for easy copy pasting. However, we really don't need it since we specified uh, which uh, user we want to use in git config and .NET RC file. So to initialize repo, just click in it. Like you see, uh, Garrett uh, repo updates itself and initializes uh, this. So it has it still hasn't pulled any code yet. Just created a dot repo directory where it fetched the manifest file. To fetch the uh, workshop code, you need to do repo sync. Uh, one additional switch that's uh, useful to add for the first initial sync is no clone bundle. Since uh, Garrett, uh, CMF Garrett doesn't provide clone bundle uh, script, uh, you can specify this uh, to suppress, uh, to ignore, the, to suppress the warnings that uh, repo will give you. That's needed only for the first initial sync after init. But uh, if you, even if you don't specify it, you just uh, uh, will see a warning like uh, this one. It's not really uh, nothing really. Uh, Nothing really dangerous. Uh, now you see rep repo fetching all the projects. Uh, fetch order is more or less random. And that's it. Repo created RDK workshop directory and pulled three components. Now you have the full a workshop code. Uh, we will use this workshop uh, code in the exercise uh, number two, where we're going to create a change and submit it, uh, submit uh, this change for review. Thank you.